Welcome to Impera, an intelligent document processing platform powered by machine learning. Regardless of your background, you can start using Impera to automatically extract data from any document type on day one. With just one example and a few clicks, you can train Impera to extract data in just a few minutes. First, we gotta upload some files into a collection. A collection holds a group of similar files together. Files in the same collection should have similar layouts and all contain the same fields you're trying to extract. For example, in this group of files, we can extract invoice number, total amount due, and a checkbox indicating paid status. You can create as many collections as you need, and each one will be uniquely trained on the documents within them. To further illustrate this, here's another group of files that should go into a separate collection than the first one I just showed you. Each group of files have the same layout as the other ones in their group, as well as contain the same set of fields you want to extract from them, also known as schema, so they belong together in their own respective collections. Learn more about collections in the link in the description. Now let's try uploading some files. First, I need to create a collection. To do that, click the plus sign in the left sidebar by collections and give it a name. After a collection is created, I'll drag and drop a handful of utility bills straight onto the browser from my computer. Learn more about various ways to upload files into Impera in the description. Impera is going to take a few moments to upload and run processing on your files. When it's done getting to know them, click on any one of them to get started with extraction. When File View opens, click Add Field and choose the type of field you want to add first. The single text value type includes values with any combination of letters and numbers, like names, dates, dollar amounts, and invoice numbers. The checkbox value type is for checkboxes, radio buttons, and any other yes-no indicators. The table type is for extracting data laid out in tables as well as repeating lists or matrices. I'll be going over how to extract data from checkboxes and tables later on in this video. For now, I'll start with single text values. In this example, I want the value for customer name. I'll choose single text value as my value type, enter in a field name, which is customer name, and go highlight the value on the file itself. I can either click or highlight the value or capture it in a blue box. As soon as I hit add field, Impera is gonna start looking for other similar fields that look like customer name in the rest of my other files. The more files you upload into this collection, the more magic you'll see. Let's add a few more fields. I'll take address by adding a new field, naming it, and highlighting the value. I'll also add a handful of other fields in the same exact way. Now that I'm done, I'll return to Collection View to see Impera's predictions. By creating fields, we've given Impera an idea of what data we want. Now's the time to clarify and teach Impera in order to fine tune it. Impera continually learns by taking into account each interaction you make and grows more accurate each time you correct or confirm predictions. I can see here that we have 12 predictions to review. Click this button to get started. I'm going to go down the queue and confirm whether Impera has gotten a prediction correct or needs an adjustment. As I review predictions and make confirmations, Impera will immediately reprocess other predictions and might even take care of the ones down the line for you, clearing them out of the queue because they've grown in confidence. You may have noticed different markers alongside each prediction. These indicate machine learning confidence. A black marker indicates that you personally manually entered or confirmed this value yourself. A green marker indicates that Impera is highly confident that this prediction is correct. And lastly, a red marker indicates a prediction that Impera isn't super confident about and recommends that you take a look. As I mentioned earlier, I'll show you how to extract checkboxes and table data by using this group of purchase orders uploaded into a new collection. Let's start by opening up a file and adding a field. This time, I'll choose the checkbox value. A blue box will appear and all I have to do is move and shape it so it's positioned over my checkbox. I'm gonna name it and add this field. Since I have a set of two checkboxes that represent multiple options for the same question, I'll add both as separate fields. 
Otherwise, I'd only get prediction results for just one of these options, and any results for the other option would be ignored. Impure is going to get to work extracting these two checkbox fields from the rest of the files in this collection. Now that it's done, let's go back and make a few corrections so Impura can learn and reprocess predictions. As I open up this next file, I can see that Impura thinks the wholesale checkbox is over here. I'll move the blue box to the correct spot, adjust the value, and hit confirm. As I exit file view, I can see the spinner that indicates Impura is applying new learnings and fixing incorrect predictions. Let's open up a file again to extract table data. Once again, I'll hit Add Field, and this time, I'm choosing Table as my value type. Once I give the table a name, a blue box will appear on my file. I'll reshape it so it captures only the values in the first row, leaving out the headers. Now, I want to show Impure what this table looks like. I'll do that by setting up row 1. It'll serve as a template that Impure uses to identify other rows. I'll go one by one across this row to label each column by writing in column names and highlighting corresponding values. Once I've added my last column, I'll click Done and let Impure finish up making its table predictions. Now that Impure has returned predictions, I'll go down the queue and review and confirm entire rows starting from the top. Confirming entire rows signals to Impure to use these latest confirmations as a basis to retrain itself. As I've mentioned before, these spinners mean Impure is reprocessing predictions and becoming more and more accurate. Let's go back to collection view to see how Impure did at extracting tables from our other files. I can see some red review recommended markers in this table, so I'll open this up to see what's happening. I can see that Impure actually got some of these low confidence predictions correct, so I'll go ahead and confirm them. However, it didn't quite capture the entire value for the description field, so I'll adjust the blue box to correct it. Then I'll hit confirm entire row and let Impure think again. Going back to collection view, I can see that Impure is reprocessing other less confident predictions into confident ones based on what it learned from our last few interactions. Check out the description for ways to learn more about extracting table data. Now that we've started extracting data and have retrained Impira through confirming predictions, we're ready to upload more files because Impira is now well prepared to make more accurate predictions moving forward. With Impira, we hope that you can take back valuable and meaningful time and energy by eliminating busy work. Thanks for watching.